Hey everybody, um, I'm having to record this with the camera versus doing a screen recorder screenshot because I don't have enough memory on mine and it would really really lag a lot and since I'm trying to make a video on lagging <laughs> it wouldn't help to do that. Um, I have PowerDirector open and we're going to go through a couple things. The first thing you want to do though is to hit your go to your keyboard and hit Control Alt Delete. That will bring up your task and then you click on task manager um, this will show you your resources your processes that are going um, as you can see power director is a big program and it's using a lot of my memory so when I have power director going I can't use a lot of other things and that's the reason why a lot of people run into lag um, when they're trying to make uh, videos because it uses so much resources and if there's anything else running in the background it's going to limit that uh, as you can see my cpu um, is hardly working at all which is good but all my memory i don't have a lot of memory on my computer i have four gig so the more memory you have the better it is for your lagging and if you go down through here um, you can you can actually see that there's hardly anything running and then my windows processes um, there's nothing really going on here either so that's good but if there were something going on and you wanted to stop it all you would have to do is right click and task and it would stop it and that would help out a little bit um, so you want to get this down to as far as you can I can only get down to about here because I don't have a lot of memory on my computer okay so again that's alt or control alt delete It'll bring up, click on your task manager, and then you can stop it um, by this. You can look at other tabs too, and it'll see how everything's working, um, things like that. Okay? Um, so let's get rid of this. First thing you want to do. Second thing you want to do is try to, what I do is, as you can see, I have um, three different videos going on here with the, with the audio in the middle. Hopefully you can see this. Um, I apologize if, if you can't see it too well. I'll try to bring it up more. But we have the stars in space. Just look for my uh, my uh, cursor. What I normally do is, is I do one thing at a time. So I know the stars in space are going to work good. So I unclick this button over here. And then I go ahead and do this even though it's not nothing in anything there. I just get in the habit of doing it. I come down. Let's say I want to do my main overhead shot first. I will go ahead and get rid of this and this and now I'm pretty much down to one video and so my video is running and I can see that there's no lag everything is going good and that's what you want to see okay and so I'm going to hit my stop button bring it back to the beginning and now I'm going to bring in this one um, and I can see that I bring it in. If you look at this little opacity line, you can bring it in right about here, and you'll see that my other video will come in, and this will move. We'll see if there's any lag. See, there doesn't seem to be any lag, which is good. If I have all of my other programs on my computer turned off, and I'm just using this, usually... To be honest, usually um, two videos are pretty good, but I haven't clicked in, so let's hit stop on this. I haven't clicked in my stars yet, so I'm going to click that in, and I'm going to bring it up right about here. Again, nothing is dragging, which is good. Um, but. Sometimes you will get a little lag depending on, um, one of the things I like to tell people also is when you have this little clip in movie. A clip is when you click into something. So let's stop this and let's say you want to click into that. The actual frontal view. This is what they call the clip. This is the clip because it's clipping, it's just showing you this one clip, not, not the other one. It'll show it to you but you can manipulate this one. And that's the reason why it's called a clip so I tell people to make sure you're on the movie and then hit 
the stop button, it brings it all the way back. For some reason, that seems to work better for me instead of just hitting, you know, grabbing this line over here and moving it where you want to. Um, sometimes I get lag like that when it's trying to catch up. Not all the time. It's actually running really good because I don't have anything in the background running right now. So I'm going to hit, hit, hit stop on this. And so that's how I do it. There's, that's really all I can do is try to, want, the first thing you need to do is try to get as much memory on your computer as possible. I only have four gigs, so if you can get eight to 12, it probably wouldn't lag at all. Um, control, Alt, Delete, that would be your task manager. And you can go in there and end any processes that are going in the background. You can just uh, click on it, right click, end task, and it'll just end the task for that moment. And it'll, it'll let go of all the resources that are being used in the background. So that's a good thing to do. And also, um, as I said, I uh, unclick, if you look at the stars in space, um, I unclick these and also anyone I'm not working on. And I do them one at a time and then I bring them in slowly. So that's how I do it. I don't do anything other than that, guys. That's it. So I hope this helps somebody and uh, you have fun with it. If you have any more questions, let me know. Take care. Bye. Okay, this is for um, the people that want to know how I move my videos back and forth. I guess I should have explained that. Hold on. Um, let's say that you have a video, and in, in my instance, I have a video that I want my uh, frontal view to be moving around. I just click this, and it brings me up to, well, first thing you got to do on this, though, is you got to be able to show it. <laughs> so you got to bring it over where you can actually see it. There you go. Um, then I click into it. That way I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. But for, for learning purposes, let's say that um, I want this part of me to start way over here on the right and come over and then go down. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of these keyframes. This is how you do it. This is what this little, little section is for. What you do is you got to vision where you want it to start. And so I'm putting it way over to the left, and I'm clicking the, the position, scale, and opacity. Now, I'm going to change what, what I want. I'm going to say, well, I want this to be real, real small, and I want it to be over to the right out of view, okay? That's where I want it to start it. So as you're starting it, that's what will happen. As you go along, you say, okay, well, I want it to take a little bit of time to get over to the left. So let me go ahead and hit this and see how it works but now I'm going to bring it over here so you have to have a vision of where you want it to be how big you want it to be and where you want it to go so if I take this and go backwards you can see it's moving that's how it's going to look so if I want to check it out I go like this if that's too slow it is taking a while to get over there. If that's too slow, all you got to do is bring these boxes. You got to hit stop. Bring these keyframes over a little bit closer. Okay? You can just drag them over until they line up. And then that way, it's not so long. See how it's going a little bit faster and it's growing too. That's really all there is to it. That's what this whole little section is for right here. Is for, you can use it for opacity too, which I'm not going to get into in this one. This is just moving stuff around. Okay, so I got that where I want it. It's going at a good speed. But now um, I want it to go down to the right and stop. I'm going to go just a little bit more. I'm going to go click all these again and then position it where I want it. Okay. So now, if I start at the beginning, or right there,
See how it just hit the corner and went on? Now it's going all the way to the other corner. Again, if you want it faster, you have to put those keyframes a little closer to each other. Okay? That's really all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. And I'm going to go cancel. I don't want to save those. Um, I, I, I'm sorry that I'm having to do this with a camera, so you might not be able to see everything so closely. But um, hopefully that will help some of you guys out that might want to use that. There's other little things you can do with that too, but I'll go into that another time. Um, the audio, one thing I do want to show you is if you go to the audio line, you right click and you go edit audio and go to your wave editor. I had that folder open, I didn't know it. Okay, this is what you can do. You can always go plus, that way you can get it up so you can get to your front part. I normally always highlight this and go silence. I want to, I want to generate silence in here, but I can't do it because it's less than a second and it won't let, it won't do anything. So normally though, it's out of here where I can highlight it all and generate silence because I don't want that hissing sound or white noise sound or whatever you call it in the beginning. So I always generate silence. But let's say that um, you want to do the rest of it. You go control A, which will highlight your whole music. And then you go into, let's say reverb. And reverb, I hit preview because I don't want to do the changes yet. I just want to listen to it. And I bring it, let's say the room size 40 and then 50. And then I play it. And you pretty much, the more, the more you go to your right, the more echo you'll get. Um, you just have to play around with it. You may not even want to use it. Okay, so that's just showing you, this is what I normally put a little re reverb in there. If you want to go to the equalizer, the same thing, you hit the preview. And you can come up here and go, let's say, uh, this sort of gets you in hard rock. That'll sort of get you in the ballpark, but again, you can you can do anything you want. You can you can make this go up, you can make it go down, and get your sound just the way you want it. And you can preview it, and then when you're done, um, when you're you're done, you just hit OK. I'm not going to get it this time, but um, all right. So when you are absolutely done, for some reason, I cannot f find a way. Um, they'll let you save it and everything, but if you want to go back to where you were, you just hit X out of this. It'll ask if you want it, and you go, I'm going to say no. Normally, you would say yes. Either way, it'll bring you back to your, to your audio, and it will incorporate your changes. The best thing to do, though, is to check it out before you, you know, render it, okay? Um, that's all I know how to do, guys. I hope uh, this has been helpful for you guys, and... Uh, Sorry it took me so long to get this out, and I'm sorry it's on a camera versus a, a screen. But, you know, when I put this on a screen um, recorder, I couldn't do anything with, with, uh, with this program because it was taking all my memory. It was literally, I, it, was, it was freezing up. I couldn't do anything. So that's, that's why I did it this way. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy it. Take care. Bye.